Are you interested in making a summary of your slide set very quickly and then making it also a very presentable format to demonstrate to your audience? Answer to both these questions must be yes. And if that is the answer, this is the right tutorial for you to learn about this summary preparation. So as a demonstration, I will add a photo um, album here that will be kind of a slide set that we will be presenting to our audience. So I've created a slide set here, let's say for an example, and now I would like to make a summary of all these slides. So the quickest way is to go to insert and insert menu on your ribbon, you will find this zoom tool, this one. So click on the zoom tool and it will show you a summary zoom. Now click on the summary zoom and you are able to see multiple slides here that you can add to your PowerPoint. So I will simply click on insert and this is a summary of all of our slides here on the chart. So let's have a look how this is visible to our audience. You could see it took less than a minute for me to make this summary. Now if I want to show let's say these flowers to my audience I simply click on it and I can see the flowers. If I want to see, show this one, I can simply click on it. So by clicking, it takes us to the slide itself in a different way. It's not like conventional PowerPoint slide, but it's a slightly different format, which is more presentable. And you can see I'm showing some of the places in Budapest in this particular slide. So the slide set is ready. It took us only a few seconds to develop it. I repeat it, we can get it from insert on our ribbon and then into the links section that you see here, you can find the zoom and zoom summary. Now, you have certain options here as well to edit your summary. For example, the moment you click on this summary, this zoom tool format gets enabled. Now this formatting is for the borders of your summary. Let's say if I want to give a blue border to my summary, you can see the border is there. Similarly, if I would like to show some effects to the slides, the glow, or the reflection. Let's take a reflection here so you can see the reflection appearing for the slides. So by this, you can make different sort of uh, kind of effects to your slides. You can give uh, kind of a, a layout change here as well and added summary, etc., etc. So this is up to you what you would like to add here. Now I would like to uh, delete this slide set and I would like to add another uh, slide set for business purposes. So again, I will take it to the photo album part. We will create a new photo album. And let's say I've taken some slides here. These are example slides here. So I will pull them in. Okay, I'll pull them in in the shape of a slideshow. You can see all of them appearing down there. Uh, now, simply, I have to go back to the insert menu, the zoom, and the zoom summary. Now, it's up to me what I would like to demonstrate to my audience. So, I would like to show most of these charts to my audience. So, I will select all these slides. Let's say I made 12 of them. So, now we have an equal portion appearing up. You can title it summary or whatever. Uh, and you can you can even change the size of your slide sets and you can see this summary is changeable and as I uh, told you you can go to the format part and you can align the shape as you want so this formatting is for your summary so again in this summary uh, let's say for example if I want to present it to 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 my colleagues in my office I can simply click on this and I can show them the chart here and Quickly, I can hover around through the presentation quickly. I don't have to go to slide number, etc., etc., and just see. I can go without even going through these uh, uh, kind of a sequence. So I can demonstrate anything at any time. So this is a quick example of the summary. Now, in the summary, I would like to make a change rather in the slide set. So I remove this particular. Uh, image from this this summary and I will rather go back and insert let's say a video here so I will take a video from let's say I'll go to the desktop and on the desktop I have a, yeah I have one intro video so I can pull in so this is my channel's uh, intro video that I pulled in here 
this summary is automatically populated. You can see this is updated now by the change I did in the slide. So whatever sort of changes you will do in these slides, uh, this summary uh, will be continuously uh, improving itself or refreshing itself. So you don't have to worry about uh, the summary um, kind of update, etc., etc. So now if I open this summary and for example, now I would like to show this video to my colleagues, I will click on this. There we go. Now I'll simply have to press this button and it will demonstrate the video to my colleagues as well. So that is a simple way to add um, slide set summary, very handy, very quick and very um, efficient as well in terms of the presentation mode that you have um, generally. Right click on it and you will see the summary layout. So you can see um, edit summary and reset the layout. So I will click on edit summary. So if in a case you have added some more slides in your slideshow, um, you can simply uh, select and you can pull them in and it will be updated. So that's a simple way uh, to demonstrate your PowerPoint presentations in an efficient way, uh, especially by making a summary. And in this summary, you can demonstrate. And if in a case you have 100 slides and you choose here 10 of them as a presentation material, so rest of the slides are your backup. So you can show it, uh, share it with your audience uh, without any um, kind of a problem. So this summary can be your demonstration and rest of the slides can be your backup material for that particular demonstration. I hope this has generated some ideas in your mind, guys, and I hope you will also share some feedback in the comments section. So please feel free to share your comments, share your ideas, share your creativity that you brought out of this discussion. I look forward to speak to you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Looking forward to see you. Bye-bye.